Welcome everyone. Today I have the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Magneto figure. This figure is a part of the Colossus Builder figure wave. Let's now take a look at the packaging. You can see a cool looking X-Men logo at the front. And along the side, there's some awesome looking artwork of Magneto and Apocalypse as well, who is overhead. Looks really good. And it's the same on this side. Here's the back, and we can see there's another phenomenal image of Magneto. There's a bio on the right hand side, and along the bottom, you can see the entire wave of figures in the Colossus wave. Then on the left side, you can see the completed Colossus figure. Then here's a look at the top of the box, and here's the bottom. All right. Let's get this package open so we can take a closer look at the figure. Here we have Magneto out of the package. Starting with the head sculpt, it looks great. The gray hair is sculpted very well and there's a little bit of wash throughout the hair and it looks good. The two ponytails look cool and display a lot of detail and you can also see the purple bands around the hair. However, there's a tiny paint imperfection right here near the end of this ponytail. The face looks great and he has a neutral, somewhat stoic expression. There's also another tiny pan perfection near the corner of his mouth. But overall, this head sculpt looks very good and is very detailed despite the pan perfections, which are small overall. I also like how the cape looks. The collar piece on it has a very shiny appearance. And here's a look at the back. You might notice that around some of the silver areas, there's a slight tinge of red and purple, but it's not very noticeable at all. Also, there's some red paint running over into the purple area right here. The cape has a lot of creases and ripples, which are nicely done and very detailed. Overall, the cape is very cool looking and designed very well, despite the few minimal paint imperfections. The suit is awesome looking and is sculpted very well. The body mold is very well done and detailed. Also, just like the collar piece, you can see other parts of the suit also have a very shiny paint application, such as the shoulder pads, the forearms, and the boots. Overall, this is a solid figure as the figure is sculpted phenomenally and the paint job is very good overall. Here's a look at the five accessories for Magneto. We have an alternate head sculpt, two magnetic effects, and a pair of fists. Here's a look at the head sculpt. It looks excellent as the helmet is both sculpted and painted very well. Magneto's face under the helmet looks phenomenal. The eyes are completely white and the hair looks very good. Overall, the design of this head sculpt is awesome looking. Then here's a look at the purple magnetic effects, which are very cool looking. Then here's the pair of fists. Here's a look at Magneto with the pair of fists and the magnetic effects. Next, here's Magneto with the alternate head sculpt. Then here's another look at him. And here's Magneto without his cape. Let's now have a look at the articulation. The head moves up just a little. That's how far he can look down. He can look side to side just a little. And the head can tilt, but not much. The arms can do a full rotation if you remove the cape. They raise up that much, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel with a hinge. There's an ab crunch and he can bend forward that far, which is quite far. He's not able to bend backward because of the cape. Here's a waist swivel.
the legs come out to the sides that much. They kick out forward that far. Here's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and they bend back that far. There's a swivel at the boot. The foot is on a hinge, and it goes up that far, and it goes down that far. And there's an ankle pivot. So in conclusion, this figure is very awesome looking, and I think that is one of the best Magneto figures in the Marvel Legends line. I'm very impressed with how the figure is sculpted, as the body mold looks excellent. The paint application looks very good overall, despite the minimal paint imperfections. Also, the articulation is good, and by removing the cape, you'll be able to get even more movement from the figure. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And please leave a like and subscribe.